it's the Jack Benny Hour with his guest stars, Bob Hope, the Beach Boys, his special guest, Elka Summer. And here he is, the star of our show. And here he is, the star of our show, Jack Benny. seen long entrances, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> he's not even halfway, and he's already traveled further than the fugitives. <laughs> hey, if we have to watch walking, let's watch something that walks prettier. Alki Summer. Nice to be working on a show with you again. Thank you, Bob. And you're certainly doing all right. What an impression you've made in America. You've only been over here a few years, and they're making a whole TV series about you. Oh, really? About me? Yes, The Long Hot Summer. <laughs> Bob, that's not very funny. You know, but it'll have to do until the jockey Longdon of the comedians gets here. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I think he stopped to make a night deposit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, much as we hate to interrupt this entrance, here's a word from the sponsor. <laughs> a day begins. For Eastern Airlines, another busy day. This day, 200,000 Americans will fly. One out of every six on Eastern. Eastern will service over 80% of America's industrial area. And the capital cities of Canada, the United States, Mexico, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. On this day, on any day, we will carry more people than all but one of the world's airlines. Eastern, an airline with a big day's work to do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. It was so nice out tonight that I decided to walk. In fact, I walked all the way from my home in Beverly Hills here to the studio. And it's good for me, you see, because it gives me rosy cheeks. And this show, being in color, makes that very, very important. Because the last time I did a show in color, I didn't walk, see? So in order to make sure I had rosy cheeks, they used a different system. Just before I went on, they had the stage manager choke me. <laughs> now, you know, I used to do half-hour shows all the time, you see? And this show tonight, of course, is a special. That is, they call it a special. It's not a special at all. It's an hour show. <laughs> they always make a big thing. That's, it's all it is is two half hours put together. <laughs> it's not a special. To me, a special is when coffee goes from 85 cents to 74. <laughs> That's a special. This is a television show, and I hope you all enjoy it. And I think 
you will enjoy the program because tonight, because in putting this show together, we didn't just stop with our wonderful guest stars like Bob Hope and Elka Summer and the Beach Boys. In addition to that, I went out of my way to make sure that the show would have all of those elements that are so popular on television today. So would you please, would you please open the curtain? <laughs> I forgot to ask him when the funeral is. Father, I've got something to tell you. Don't bother me. Tell your mother the lamp. Mother the lamp? What is it, son? I got married today. You did? Yes, I married a witch. <laughs> Always on the run. Never a place to stop. They're after me. They're after me. Who's after you? The doctors. I voted for Medicare. <laughs> Your mother has a <some> fever. <laughs> Secret agent 008972. <laughs> You're after the wrong person. He didn't do anything. We did it. But it wasn't our fault. We come from a broken home. Yeah. My father is an alcoholic and dislikes my mother. And my sister got a divorce from her husband. And my aunt has 18 children and despises every one of them. They must come from Hayton Place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so arrest us. I didn't come here to arrest anybody. Then what is all this hullabaloo? Hullabaloo! <laughs> Close the curtain, please. Close it yourself. I'm not talking to you. Now, for those of you who didn't see your favorite program, naturally, we couldn't cover everything, you see. But now, getting on with the show, I'd like to, uh, what? It is? <laughs> well, evidently, that long walk didn't quite do it. I have to go back and have the stage manager choke me a little. <laughs> so while I'm gone, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be entertained by one of our most popular singing groups, the Beach Boys. <laughs> Boyfriends warm at night. We 
just the right spot. <laughs> Better be, because we're out of gas. <laughs> I can hardly wait to get out there and hang ten. <laughs> You know, this is my favorite sport next to skydiving. I press my cutoff. Man, it's hot. You said it. just drove up. Looks like a couple of senior citizen dropouts. <laughs> hey, get a load of this set of wheels. Looks like a Dunmere Velasco with a flat coupe. No, I think like it's that? a Chrysler Mill. No, I think it's a cut off today. <laughs> Wait, what'd you make that out of? We started out with a shopping cart. <laughs> shopping cart? But how did you get all that shiny metal? We ran into that guy on the white horse who cleans laundry. How come no floorboard? We sit low. It's the only way we can stop. <laughs> That's the real dragon, man. Never mind the car. We want to use our boards. Now, tell us where the big ones are breaking. You mean you don't know this part of the ocean? Nah, we've been doing our surfing at Arrowhead. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lake. Yeah, how do you get your waves? We got our own jacuzzi. <laughs> hey, maybe you guys would like to join our club. We really turn on, man. Yeah, a surfing club, huh? That sounds real cool. Yeah, what are the dues? 1750 a year. 1750 What does that include? Well, to start with, you get an emblem to put on your surfboard daily surfing reports, and a chenille string so you can drive between your toes. I get it, sort of like dental floss. You get all that for $14.50? Oh. And you're also entitled to one rescue a year. You mean if I catch a tip and get wiped out in the ocean, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you mean, you mean if I catch a, follow this. You mean if I catch a tip and get wiped out in the ocean. You gotta take water with you, man. <laughs> you mean one of you guys would swim out and rescue me? Only if you have your membership card with you. Hey, Zach, the big ones are starting to roll in. Well, Come on, let's go, Okay, Zach. let's go. Grab that, Zach. Right. Man, it's murder carrying this board. Yeah, but think how much harder it would be if our heads weren't flat, huh? <laughs> romantic Caribbean resort echoed the splendor of Spain's golden age. You might never have discovered it, but he has. He's a travel agent. He's in the business of knowing where to stay, what to see, what to do, and how much you'll probably spend. agent in your town is a good neighbor to know. He can whisk you off to sunspots like Mexico, Florida, Bermuda, and the Caribbean with a minimum of time and trouble. At Eastern Airlines, we work closely with him because we know that the best trips begin with a short trip to your travel agent. You know, ladies and gentlemen, there's a rule in the theater that every show should be graced with beauty. 
And since the sponsor didn't think I met those requirements myself, <laughs> it's my pleasure now to introduce the international motion picture star, Miss Elke Sommer. Let me look at you a minute. Isn't she beautiful? Huh? Isn't she gorgeous? No, really, did you ever see anyone in your life uh, who looked... What? Jack, this is embarrassing. What's embarrassing? I was complimenting you. Well, I know, and I appreciate it. I mean, any girl would. But I think that physical appearances are overemphasized. You do? Yes. Well, girls like to be recognized for other things, like their personalities or their talents or their education. Now, for instance, in my case, I think the fact that I speak five languages is much more important than my physical appearance. Don't you? Repeating that, please. Yes, I said the fact that I speak five languages is the important thing. Elke, Georgie Jessel speaks eight languages. I've yet to hear anyone whistle at him. <laughs> Even when he's wearing a bikini. <laughs> but, Alki, I'm really impressed. You, you speak five languages, mm -hmm. huh? French, Italian, German, Spanish, and English. That's, yeah, that's wonderful. You know, I've traveled so much through Europe, and yet I don't know anything uh, but English. You miss so much. You really do. For instance, whenever I went to Italy, I kept hearing one phrase all the time. I kept hearing people say to me, Quanto puo, qualguno, essere, tanto, turchio. Now, what does that mean? Let me see. Uh, quanto puo, qualcuno, essere, tanto, turchio, huh? That means, how can a man be so cheap? <laughs> Sounded so nice in Italian. In French. I know what it means. A waiter explained it to me. He had a grip like my stage manager. Now, Elfie, I'd love to stand here talking to you, but it's time for your song now. And you have exactly two seconds to change your dress, spray your throat, and get ready to sing. But, Jack, that's impossible. But, Elkie, it's a number from your new MGM record album. Well, in that case, I'll manage. <laughs> Last year I went to Spain to find romance. I looked and looked in vain until by chance in old Madrid I met this kid. I took one look and slipped my lid. And as our lips met in the burning kiss, I told myself to stop and whisper this. You fell in love with the handsomest guy in this town. Stay away, stay away from that town. It's a kick out of flirting and fooling around. Stay away, stay away from that clown. Be the clown, be the clown, be the clown, be the clown. Yes, he's I, yes, he's I, yes, he's I. He's just a tiger who'll tear apart all of your dreams. Stay away, stay away from that clown. Well, it's his circus, the place who has fun in the sea. Stay away, stay away from that clown. He's a clown. Soon you'll catch on 
You know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first season oh, Mr. Benny. since... Mr. Benny. Yes. Oh, Mr. Yes. Benny, I'm your travel agent, and I want to talk to you about the trip you booked from New York to Miami on Eastern Airlines. Well, look, I'm in the middle of a show right now, and I'm not going anyway for two weeks yet. Oh, I know, but Eastern wants you to be completely satisfied. Look, a plane trip is a plane trip. Not when you fly Eastern. Mr. Crawford, he's your Eastern ticket agent. How do you do? He has your ticket. Oh, Mrs. Benny flies at a discount. Family plan, you know. <laughs> good, good. But I... I do have a show oh, to girl. do right now. Look at girl. girl. I got a show girl. to do. Now, I these mean... will be your stewardesses. They're thoroughly trained. And they can answer any questions you might have about the plane or the flight. See that you're perfectly comfortable. Oh. And they've taken a special course to teach them how to say... Coffee, tea, or milk. <laughs> you know, gosh, I may have a little of each, you know? <laughs> oh, Captain. Now, this is your captain. I see. First officer and second officer. They're part of a team that's established one of the best on-time records in the air. And they'll bring you gently down in your eastern jet. Mm. And, Mr. Benny? Yes? If you even feel the plane land, you just tell me, and I'll do it all over again. <laughs> oh, I will. I'll remember to tell you. Now, all these people here just to make little old me happy. Isn't oh, that right? not only you, Mr. Benny. At Eastern, every passenger is king. And you'll dine like one, too. Gentlemen, dinner on your famous restaurant flight will be prepared by the chefs at once. No! <laughs> Gee, that's... That's marvelous. That's, that's, that's wonderful, but... Well, what are you looking for? I mean, the orchestra. Isn't there dancing? <laughs> Oh, Lawrence? Lawrence? <laughs> Where's the bubble? Oh, no, no, no. Look at such a big airline, only a three piece orchestra? <laughs> Huh? You know, I've 
done whole shows with fewer people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before I bring back the Beach Boys, there's something I'd like to tell you. Immediately after this show is over, I'm flying to London for a command performance for the Queen of England. I don't want to brag, but this is not the first time. Now, I've already done three command performances. The first time I entertained Her Majesty was at Buckingham Palace. The second time I entertained the Queen was at the Palladium. And the third time I played Oh, Promise Me at her sister's wedding. <laughs> Their customs are so different from ours. We only throw things at the bride and groom. <laughs> I thought I'd wait a second for that. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to this trip because I love England. And every time I'm over there, I always make it a point to visit Stratford on Avon. The people come from all over the world to Stratford, and I don't blame them. They've got the most wonderful pancake house there. <laughs> no wonder Shakespeare was so fat. <laughs> but you know, one of the reasons that I love to do these... <laughs> Wait a minute. Look, do I... Wait a minute. Do I need... Do I need color again? No. Then what, what, why are you doing this? Shut you up. I want to hear the Beach Boys. <laughs> oh, well. I can take a hint. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a singing number from their new album, The Beach Boys. television show, and you do it conscientiously, you're constantly changing and improving. And you never know when or where the reason for these changes may come. As a matter of fact, this show tonight, a change came about quite by accident. When on a purely personal matter, I went to see one of the most important men in our business, Walt Disney. <laughs> Well, I like them, but uh, let's don't forget that darn cat. The title of the picture is the important thing. We gotta punch it. Yeah. Mr. Jack Benny is here to see you. Jack Benny? Send him in. Wonder what he wants. Well, I thought he was still mad at you for not using him in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> I finally got through to him, it was a cartoon. <laughs> oh, Jack. Hi, Walt. Good to see you. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you. It's a real pleasant surprise, you know? You don't come around here very often. No, what a beautiful studio you have here in this office and everything. Well, I think after Mary Poppins, I can afford a redo. Sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Esmeralda, be quiet. I say it, Walt. <laughs> 
Everybody around here calls me Walt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, Jack, what's on your mind? Well, Walt, you see, tomorrow I'm doing an hour television show with a large cast and crew. And I thought that instead of taking him to dinner after the show at the Bistro or Chasen's, that just for a change, I thought it'd be kind of nice if I took him through Disneyland. That is, if it's all right with you. Oh, Jack, I think it's a wonderful idea. How many people are there? 110. <laughs> That's not too many, is it? No, no. Uh, in fact, we have a special department that handles large groups at a discount. A discount? Yeah, that means... I know what it means. <laughs> Look, Walt, I was thinking, you know, with a big show like mine, I wind up with practically nothing. <laughs> Ten people, I mean, even with the, with the discount. <laughs> you really run into... And since you, you see the fact that you own the place, I thought, maybe. Come on in, Sam, behave yourself. Go ahead, Jack, pay no attention to him. We're all one big happy family here. Whatever you can say to me, you can say in front of him. <laughs> well, Walt, as I was saying... Family, one big family. Shut up. Now, Walt, as I was saying... <laughs> nice pussycat. <laughs> uh, Walt, as I was saying, you see, 110... Oh, incidentally, did you ever get those four complimentary tickets I sent you to one of my television shows? <laughs> oh, yes, Jack, thank you. You know, I almost forgotten that was about nine years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, just about, yeah. Now, I was saying, I'm taking 110 people to Disneyland. And, oh, oh, Walt, I must tell you, I think it's just so wonderful the way you're always taking groups of, of poor, underprivileged children through Disneyland free of charge. Well, Jack, we don't publicize that. How did you know? My sister's kid went once. <laughs> he had a wonderful time, you know. He brought me back some candy and everything. <laughs> now, Walt, it's silly to keep beating around the bush. What I was wondering was... Wait a minute, Jack. I think I'm getting the idea. You want 110 free tickets? Well... <laughs> I had no idea that's what you wanted. I didn't. I'm only a bird. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, let's see here. Wait a minute, Jack. I seem to recall that when Disneyland first opened, I gave you a 14-carat solid gold pass, lifetime pass to Disneyland. Yes, you did give me a solid gold pass. Well, where is it? Here. I had a lot of time. <laughs> okay, 110 free tickets. And I hope you all have a wonderful time. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Walt. And listen, you've been so nice to me, I'm going to do something for you. Yeah, what's that? Well, you know how important it is when a motion picture is publicized on a television show. Oh, yes, I certainly do. Well, now, look, at on my show tomorrow night, I have a beautiful foreign actress. And we're going to do a foreign film, you know, like they do in Italy, an Italian film. See? Yeah. And I'm going to rewrite the whole thing so that it has a sort of a Walt Disney approach. Well, Jack, I don't know how you can possibly apply my movie-making approach to a foreign film. I mean, everyone I see seems to be so earthy, so full of basic raw emotion. That's true, that's true, Walt, but don't worry about it. It'll work out. Oh, ah, but there's such short time, won't it be a problem? Not when you're as creative as I am. <laughs> Thing, it'll be great, and thanks so much for the ticket. Always glad to help a friend in need, Jack. Goodbye. 
A waltz. I was just thinking. Now, see, my wife, Mary, she's not on my show, but she's never been to Disneyland. And uh, I was just thinking. My approach in an Italian movie? This we'll have to see, won't we, boys? <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, the sketch you're going to see will be a little different than the way we originally planned it, because I made some revisions to keep my promise to Walt Disney, and we're going to do it immediately after a word from our sponsor. Eastern Airlines are very May I help you? It takes people to make an airline go. Good people. These are the people of Eastern. A captain bringing you home on time. A stewardess caring for your smallest needs. A weatherman guiding your pilot to an easier route. A craftsman working to microscopic tolerances. Have a nice flight. May I help you? People. Eastern people. Fly with the people of Eastern. See how much better an airline can be. The chauffeur. Marcello, come up here right away. <laughs> no, I can't take this one. Look, she's wrinkled. Well, do what you always do, Angelina. You put it on, you take a deep breath, and she's oppressed from the inside. <laughs> How many times I gotta tell you, your mama's a go to spend the summer with her sister in Napoli. That's where your mama's a go go. <laughs> but the papa, who's they gonna take a care of us? Uh, don't worry. Yesterday, your mama, she's a call uh, agency. They're gonna send over a governess. That's right. Now, Rosano, take the bambinos out of here while I finish packing. All right, come on, bambino. I get you a frozen banana. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, it's a me, a Marcello. <laughs> well, I'll be ready in a moment. Uh, how long do you think it will take to get to the airport? Oh, about a 45 minute. <laughs> do you think we should take the Via Veneto? <laughs> no, that's a pretty crowded. <laughs> you know, three months is a long time to be away. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late. Perhaps we should leave. Ah. Marcello, Marcello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I don't know how I'm gonna get along without 
about you for three whole months. I love you. I love you. Wherever I work, it's the same thing. <laughs> Please, you're mashing my mustache. <laughs> Jerry, what to come over you? The first three years, you were such a nice chauffeur. All the time, you used to hold me and hug me and kiss me. Things were so different. Well, I had to do something. You didn't have a car. <laughs> Angelina! Yes, Rosano, my love. You better hurry. She's getting late. I'll be right down. I don't know. Every time a Marcello does something for Angelina, it takes him a long time. <laughs> I don't know why she keep it. <laughs> it must be the governess. Funny there. There's a nobody there. Maria Papinini. <laughs> Maria Papinini, that's a nice a name. I understand you need a governess. Yeah, you see, my wife, uh, she's going to be gone three whole months. And that's a long, long time. <laughs> I put this away. was going to be away? Only three months. <laughs> you, you a governor? Yes, but I'm sorry. I don't have any references. Oh, well, we don't care about that. You know, because I can call your last employer. That's impossible. He's in prison for shooting his wife. <laughs> He's a shoot his wife? You sure? I was there being interviewed when he did it. <laughs> that must have, must have shocked you. Yes. Usually they wait a few days. <laughs> oh. Marcello, put the bags in the car while I say goodbye to everybody. Come on, look around the house. I want you to see the house. Look first, the house? yeah, first look in the closet. Look first, look in the closet. <laughs> first look in the closet. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Maria, you had to hide. You had to hide in the closet. That's all right. I'm used to it. <laughs> now, now, what, what would you like it to drink? Huh? Well, don't you think we should discuss your children first? Oh, my children. Oh, yeah, my children. Bambino. Bambino, this is your new governess, Maria Papanini. How do you do? How do you do? Miss Papanini, would you like to play with us? Oh, yes. No, wait, wait. No, 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 no not now. It's the time for you to go to bed. But the papa, he's the only 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Go play someplace. Oh, good play. Here. 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 Here's some money. Go buy something. Have a good time. Have a good time? One lira? Quanto può qualcuno essere tanto tirchio? Everywhere I go, it's the same as thing. Oh, aren't they cute? How about some lunch? All right. Look, Lord, that's a good idea. What can I fix for you? You fix lunch? Sure, I want you to rest. Look, what would you like to have? I'll make your favorite dish. What do you like the best? Well, I like cheese. Cheese? Mm-hmm. And my favorite is mozzarella provolone parmesan ricotta. Mozzarella provolone parmesan ricotta? <laughs> what kind of a dish is that? It's wonderful. Listen. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, ricotta. You should eat it every day and you should eat a lot. It is great with vino and it's even good with pasta. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, ricotta. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, ricotta. You can eat it icy cold and you can eat it hot. Cook it in a tiny pan or in a great big pot. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, ricotta. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, ricotta. Any vitamin you need, you'll find that it has got that. Even makes a worn out horse into a champion trotta. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, ricotta. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, ricotta. what you want. Look, I go down to the store and I get some mozzarella provolone parmesan <laughs> ricotta. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this is going to be a fun for three months. <laughs> uh. <laughs> driving through traffic with 180 pounds sitting on your lap. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? <laughs> I'm at the chauffeur. Who are you? I'm the governess. And I think you're cute. <laughs> there goes Sunday. <laughs> No, 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 please, have a respect for the uniform. What kind of man do you think I am? <laughs> I cannot cheat on a boss's wife. But I cannot help myself. You are so attractive and so handsome and so strong and so exciting and so masculine. Oh. Yeah, you left out magnificent, exquisite, and humble. <laughs> I'm tired of beating around the bush. Kiss me. Not bad for a governess, huh? <laughs> you must tell a heck of a bedtime story. <laughs> Don't talk. Don't kiss me. Kind of like this, I lose my job. Yeah, yeah. I'll hide in the closet. No, 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 not in the closet. Huh? That's too American. Um, here, take this. Yeah. There. And you 
know why? Why? I'm hungry. All right, then I have fixed your lunch, just for you and me. Well, what about the children? I send them to camp. <laughs> I suggest what you want. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, ricotta. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. I passed Mary Martin up there. <laughs> now, where were we? Like this. Maria, I don't know which of one of these wines to serve. Maria. Maria, I bring you some nice, uh, Marcello. Maria, what is it? Uh, his mustache was wrinkled, and I was pressing it. I don't believe it. Marcello, you cannot do this to me. She's a man, I saw her first. Yeah, but I have a better accent. <laughs> Sunday in Mexico, the sun floods an arena. The historic duel is on. The sun spotlights a diver at Acapulco. Referees a children's game at the pyramids of Teotihuacan. The sun warms a beautiful mermaid in Puerto Rico and covers the vacation paradise of Miami. Every year, more people choose this one to the sun because Eastern service is as warm as the destination. Fly Gentlemen, that's our show. And I want to thank my guest stars, Bob Hope, Elka Summer, and the Beach Boys. Incidentally, that sketch we did. Uh, Mr. Benny? Mr. Benny? Yes? Mr. Walt Disney just sent someone over here to get his tickets back. <laughs> Look, he gave me those Disneyland tickets, and I'm not giving them back so fast. Uh, I wouldn't be too sure.
Featured on tonight's show were Naomi Stevens, Lee Patterson, Bill Baldwin, Bob Garrett, John Ireland Jr., Gerald Michinall, and Sylvia Marino. Flying by Foy.